Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to smash another 6x6 six six paper pad. And I'm going to do that using this 6x6 six six paper busting template number 31 by Jess Crafts from JessCrafts.com. Now I decided to use one of Jess Crafts templates to make it quick and easy. Now for my cards I won't be cutting out the circle from this piece because I am going to be using uh, sentiments the circular sentiments from Sarah Liz's emergency card kits and I have printed out every emergency card kit up through number 36 which I think is her most current and um, I'll be cutting those out and using those for my circular portion of the card now if you don't know what Sarah Liz's emergency card kits are, I'll link to her channel. She is Sassy's LLC on YouTube. And she puts out an emergency card kit every other Friday, I believe, and has a great variety of sentiments. She has circular sentiments. She has ones that you can cut out with small dies or cut into squares. She has strip sentiments. She also has card sketches. So a really great resource for quick and easy card making. But today I'll be using the sketch from um, Just Crafts along with the circular sentiments from Sarah Liz. Okay, and I decided to use this enchanted garden paper pad i have in my stash and i haven't used a single sheet from this paper pad guys not one so i thought you know what i gotta i gotta use this and look how pretty these papers are how bright and colorful i love them i'll probably use the birthday sentiments i just because i think they go well with the bright and cheery colors so let's get all our papers out There it is everything's out of this paper pad and I can start kind of cutting into them so let's start doing that according to the cutting guide so I'll cut each sheet at three inches down the middle and then I'll cut them across at five and then um, half an inch for these two smaller pieces but I need to pay attention because if I'm going to orient it landscape and if there's a pattern that's directional I need to pay close attention to that in fact let me see if there's anything that's really um maybe those flowers are directional I think most of these can really go either way so I'll start by trimming off our little piece here and making this a true six by six. And I'll do that with all of them and I'll be right back. All right, so here's all those uh, top strips to those pieces. And now I can start cutting into my paper. Now, I don't want this to be a super long video, so I think I may speed a lot of the process, the repetitive process up, just to um, shorten the video a bit. But let's go through one of these pattern papers first. So I'm going to cut down at three inches. And then I'm going to cut a half inch off first because it's easier to cut um, from a large piece when you're cutting small pieces than it is to cut from a small piece. So that's half an inch. And then that's half an inch. And that leaves you with a five inch piece. 
and I'm going to repeat that. And what I'm going to do, I know on her sketches, she uses the same pattern paper. So for example, this is using just one sheet of six by six, but because I'm using a full paper pad and I have all these different um, uh, variations of paper, I can mix and match. So for example, on this sketch, I could do that paper and then these two or some other ones that I have in the stash, depending on what I like. Or I could do the reverse side and these two. And of course, I still have to add, add some matte layers to um, my cards. So let me cut up all my papers and then we'll go on to cutting our matte layers. All right, now I need to decide what color I'd like to use for my matte layers. And I kind of want to make it as easy as possible so I'm not switching between several different colors. So what I think I might do is just to make the colors pop a little, use uh, black cardstock. So let's take a look at what that would look like. So the mat if you look at the sketch for the larger piece is going to be five and a quarter by three and a quarter the mat for the smaller pieces <clears throat> will be three and a quarter by three quarters of an inch so let's start by cutting a three and a quarter here so i want to try the first one and then we'll cut five and a quarter and then let me cut the other two pieces that are three quarters of an inch. Now, if I wanted to save cardstock, I could cut um, my matte layer for my circle piece out of this black layer, but um, I have plenty of black cardstock, so I'm not too worried about that. So let's just kind of see. See, that looks good with the black. So does that. I want to try several uh, different patterns on there before I start cutting. I'll cut out all my uh, matte layers next. And then we'll kind of sort through all our pattern paper pieces and pair up which pattern is going to go with which pattern. So this paper pad has 24 sheets, which I'm going to get two cards out of each sheet. So I need 48 of the larger matte layers and 96 of the smaller matte layers. So let's get busy cutting.
All right, I've got all my matte layers cut out. So now let's try and match up our pattern papers here. And then um, I'm gonna cut out my sentiment circles and the mats for those separately once I get these all sorted out. All right, I kind of went through all of them and sorted um, so that I am using um, one of each pattern. So I'll get two cards out of each pattern. And then I'll go through my little strips, sort those, and decide what I think looks best. Uh, I'm thinking um, that when I have a more busy pattern like this one, I do more of a white strip like that. I just think it will look better. So I'll need a couple of those. And I like that. So that's what I'll do there. And then when I have more of a, um, like a more solid white in the background. So for example, this one, I can use a busier pattern. So I can use this, this dark one there. I think that would look good. And then perhaps this yellow one. See? So I'll go through. Uh, pair up all my pattern papers and then come back and start assembling our cards. Alrighty, I have them all sorted, ready to go. So now it's a matter of putting them together. So let's start with one. And we're gonna leave an even border around all four sides. And I think for these smaller pieces, I'll just use my liquid glue. It's just easier than trying to pull the tape runner through there and also gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so there's that piece. And I just have to remember and pay attention to which side I am gluing. So when I sorted my papers, I left the side I wanna use face up. And, um, hopefully, I don't mess it up. Alrighty, I've got my card bases all made. I've got my matte layers for my sentiments all cut. All my pieces are cut and ready to go. And what I'm thinking is I'm not going to actually put the sentiments on um, the cards quite yet. Let me show you. I printed, this is quite a stack, of um, sentiments and these are free to download if you go to Sassy's LLC YouTube channel. Um, she comes up with these as I mentioned uh, every other Friday and I think I'm going to leave them without sentiments um, as she does her cards and I'll 
spend a day cutting out all the sentiments and just have these ready to attach a sentiment to when I'm ready. So I could make, um, for example, this could be a Mother's Day card or a thinking of you card or a sympathy card or a, uh, just saying hello or a birthday card. So I am going to put all my cards together, including the matte layer for the circular sentiments. And then I'll show you um, all my cards that are nearly completed, minus the sentiment, of course, at the end. Alrighty friends, so I pulled in this um, Emergency Sentiments from Sassy's LLC from January of 2023. It's volume one and it has the happy birthday sentiments. And all I did, I started to cut them off camera and I realized, oh, I should probably show you what I'm doing, is um, some of the sentiments come with the circle around them. Some don't have the circle and then you just can cut them into a, a square shape or a rectangular shape but I want to use these round ones because I did cut my uh, circular matte layers so all I'm doing is using this uh, one and three quarters inch punch to cut them out now you could use uh, a die you have you could fussy cut them out you could um, use your if you have a scanning cut your brother's scanning cut so a variety of ways you could cut these out And one more thing now I did cut these with that one and three quarters inch uh, circle punch but it leaves a little bit of a white border and if you don't like that here's a quick trick I just grabbed my memento marker here and I'm kind of just going around the edge up to where the line is printed and that will kind of hide also if you went in a little bit um, crooked with your paper punch. And then when you place that on your black matte layer, you can't really tell. See, it kind of blends. So there's always little fixes you can do for any of the little boo-boos boo or what you may think is a boo-boo. Like I said, recipients of your card is not going to see that and say, oh no, I don't like that white layer or that white border. See how cute? 
Okay, let me finish up these few and I'll be right back and show you all the cards we completed with this paper. All right, my crafty friends, here are the cards I've completed using the sketch from JustCrafts.com as well as this beautiful pattern paper from Pink and Main and a few sentiments from Sassy's LLC's emergency card kits. So let me go through all of my cards with you. First, I'll share the ones that I did put a sentiment on, and these are all happy birthday sentiments. Each of them a little bit different, which I think is great because you have some variety. So I did make 12 with a sentiment on them. Aren't those pretty? Now let me share the rest. And these don't have a sentiment on them quite yet, but they're ready to go. I do have that uh, black circle as the matte layer for a circular sentiment. Now you could also use some of the strip sentiments from um, Sassy's LLC. You know, I'm thinking I could add uh, maybe a piece of ephemera here and then a strip sentiment here. You know, make it a little bit unique depending on what the occasion is, what I'd like to use the card for. And I think these papers are just gorgeous. They're so bright and cheery and the colors all work so well together. So I made a total of 36 without the sentiment plus the 12 with the sentiment added for a grand total of 48 cards using one full paper pad. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.